welcome to today's video. We're going to be analysing the instruments in Badinari. So, when we're actually looking at the score, we notice these at the side. We have these instruments on. You may be thinking, what are their roles? What role do they play in this orchestra and how important are they? So, let's meet the orchestra and find out how important they are. When we think of the instruments in Badinari, it's best to think of them a bit like a job or a corporation or a business or an education. There are different roles and different responsibilities that these instruments play. So let's first of all look at the flute. The flute is the soloist throughout this whole piece. It's the main interest. It's the where our ear is more interested and it's more tuned to this instrument which is playing the melody. The second most important musicians or part is the basso continuo, otherwise known as the continuous bass. And the basso continuo is a harpsichord and cello, both playing the same part, they play the bass part. If we think of the harpsichord, the left hand would play the bass part. However, in the basso continuo, the right hand in the harpsichord, it would improvise using figured bass. So quite often when we're looking at the basso continuo, it is mainly the bass part at the moment in time. But a, a true harpsichordist would be improvising in their, with their right hand. Now, as I said, if we kind of look at this a bit like a corporation, a job, a business, then people have different roles. So if we were to look at the flute, this is the boss. This person plays the melody. And it's, the, as I said, the, ma the main part where our ear is more attuned. If we think of the basso continuo, we would probably describe it as a deputy. The basso continuo provides a strong, consistent and continuous bass line, which is enabling the, the melody to interlink. As we now know in past videos, the motif is divided between the basso continuo and the flute, so both parts can interlink. And it also gives a strong foundation for the harmony to rest on top. So when we're actually looking at the score, we have these two important roles, the flute and the basso continuo, but what do they actually sound like and why are they so important compared to the violin one, two and viola? Well. Let's have a listen to see how busy and how hard they actually work. Now from listening to both the parts we can actually hear how hard they're working and how interesting melodically it is. And also when we were listening to it, you may have actually heard the motifs. So we have the motif X and then motif X coming in again, but later on in the basso continuo we can hear how they interlink. So these two parts are justly deserved to be the boss and the deputy. 
They work very hard. Now let's meet the rest of the orchestra. So we have violin one. These, this part sometimes plays bits of the flute, but mainly they're playing harmony in the higher register. We have violin two. They play the harmony in the lower register. And we have the viola, who also play the harmony. Now, you may be able to see from the picture that the viola is slightly bigger than the violin. And, of course, a bigger instrument means it can go a bit lower. So it will play lower harmony. So, as we can see here, it is going from high to low. Now, if we were to describe these, uh, these roles in a corporation, we would describe them as supporting. It's a supporting role. And a really important role it is in making sure that it supports the main, uh, the main interest, which is the melody, and of course it sits on top of that really strong bass line supplied by the basso continuo. So these are just playing the harmony; they are supporting instruments. Now, once again, how would they sound, and why are they classed as supporting? So let's have a listen. If we take the melody away and we take the basso continue away, that strong, consistent uh, bass line, which is, is, it sits on, let's have a listen to why these are classed as the supporting instruments. <laughs> As we just heard, the reason why it is supporting is the parts just really aren't as interesting. You know, they're quite secondary, so they're just supporting that really interesting melody. You may have also heard in Violin 1 that it played some parts. Some parts did actually sound a bit like the melody, but not as interesting. And again, we'll be talking about that in later videos when we look at texture and look at doubling up. But as we've heard, it is just a supporting role. It's just using the background to keep it propped up to add a bit of harmonical interest as well. So now we actually understand how important all these parts are when we're actually looking at the score. We can actually see that the flute is the soloist, the boss, the main, the main parts that we listen to. We have that strong continuous bass line which can hold a foundation. And then in the middle, we do have our harmony. So let's have a listen to it all together to see how it all comes together. <laughs>
hopefully through this video you've realised how important all the roles and instruments are in this piece and what responsibility they play in creating the piece that is Badinari. Thank you for listening and I'll see you in the next video. See you soon. Thank you.